Shalom. Shalom. Be the real Hebrews of Lights. Coming to you week in, week out. Prophesying the truth and the return of the Heavenly Father, which is prophecies found in the Holy Scriptures. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahawah, Chakwadash, which is the Heavenly Father's name, who are ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. And I also want to give double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the holy apostles and men of the Lord that taught us his word and true sincerity and charity in the midst of this wicked, perverse, crooked generation. I don't go into this little topic, man, basically, like, you know, you know, rather you are uh, just coming into the know, hearing about the Israelite movement or coming across a video, or rather you in the truth and you, you know, you just battling thoughts and uh, the flesh, you know, at a lower state. All we gotta always remember, man, the scriptures is how we get clean. The scriptures is how we get purified. The scripture says, direct him, acknowledge him in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy paths. You know? So I'm gonna read this uh, scripture, Lord, with the hope to let's be edifying. You know, because his word is what cleanses you and gets you spiritually on track. This Psalms 119, verse 9, it says, Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? It says, By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So taking heed according to the most high Yahweh, which is the Holy Father's name, and Yahweh shot the Son. By taking heed according to the, his word, that's how you're made clean, man. Because our own way is not right. The way of this world is not right. The way we've been taught is not right. You know? For the most part. And getting into the scriptures and, you know, understanding the prophecy more in the will of the Lord, but mainly uh just cleansing yourself man and that, that's part of it and that's important let me grab this other one real quick I ain't really had too many I just had a couple going based off of you know this word cleansing us which also goes into what a true baptism is although we actually had that custom going on back then but a hey, being dipped in water don't uh, really help much it's this word what cleanses you, man. Whether you come into repentance or you just need a, a spiritual reset, you know, going back to the basics. That's what anything, man. Even if any sport, anything profession, man, you always got to go back to the basics so you can uh, get back right. Uh, this uh, Isaiah. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, here we go. That's Isaiah chapter 1, verse 16. It says, Wash you, make you clean, and put away evil from your doings. From before my eyes, cease to do evil. Learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. And you learn all that by coming to, into the truth. As it says in the book of Proverbs 1 and 7, you know, we can get that. But it says, Oh, uh, uh, fools uh, despise knowledge, man. You know, because this is, I'm going to get it real quick. I'm going to hop back to this. I don't want to just say anything. This uh, Proverbs 1, verse 7. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. You know, so having the fear of the Lord, that's the beginning of your knowledge, man. That's the beginning of increasing and, you know, making yourself clean, taking heed to the word. So I just keep reading in Isaiah. It says, come now, verse 18, come now, let us reason together, say after the Lord. That's your hour when you see all caps, the heavenly father, the most high. It says, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. And we know who the mouth of the Lord is, man. It's his messengers, his prophets, his men of the Lord, who he sent throughout ages and times and different kingdoms and generations, man, to warn his people and to warn of whatever evil was um, good that was coming, good or bad that was coming from the Most High himself. Okay? And, you know, being in this flesh, you know, being in this present evil, wicked world, man, we were taught the wrong way. We were disobedient. We rebelled. We refused, even unto this day. But how about Shem Al Shai is requiring us, you know, to uh, come back to his word and get cleansed, man. 
the song First Peter 1 and 1. I mean, First Peter 1 and 22. Seeing ye have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren. And we know love is an action. You know, as far as like telling your brother the truth, man, looking out for him. And, and it's showing and rehearsing the righteous acts and brotherly love toward one another, which how Basham Al Shah want us to do as a nation. Which as a nation, you see that we fail from that because the curses devour us, man. That's why coming back into this word is how we cleanse our ways and cleanse our minds and thoughts, man. Even being in it, how many years, you know, you always got to stick to the basics. And you always got to resort back to the word to be purified. Because the word is how it shot, and that's our righteousness. That's how we purify, which is the point of this lesson, man, based off these few scriptures. It says, See that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. You know, love is action, so you're going to, uh, you know, do that. And you're going to learn that as well. Because we, we wasn't taught it in this world. This First Peter 3 and 21. I'm out of fact, before I read that, I'm going to read it. Uh, go back to this Proverbs Back to Proverbs 1 and 1 It says um, Start of verse 2 To know wisdom and instruction To perceive the words of understanding To receive the instruction of wisdom Justice and judgment and equity To give subtlety to the simple To the young man knowledge and discretion a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. And a wise, a man of wisdom, the instructions, you know, the judgment, the equity, the subtility, the knowledge, the discretion, you know, the discernment, the learning, the wise counsels, and understanding, they all come from the scriptures. And, you know, which there's men of the Lord back in the reincarnation here on earth today, which can show you that by works, by through experience, through the word. It says to understand a proverb and the interpretation and the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. So only a fool that despise wisdom and instruction, you know, something that's meant to um, uplift them and better them and heal them, man. But the scripture says we are in a dead state, man. You know, we wander out of way of understanding. So now being so to clean our way, like it says in Psalms, we just got to come back into the way of understanding. And the way of understanding is the scriptures. There's truth. This is Jeremiah chapter 3. I'm just grabbing scriptures, man. I ain't really had nothing put together. There's a Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 11. And Yahweh said unto me, The backsliding Israel have justified herself more than the treacherous Judah. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, Return, thou backsliding Israel, saith Yahweh. I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith Yahweh, and I will not keep anger forever. So that's what the Lord wants us to do. And that's a wise thing to take heed into that warning, man. <laughs> and in the midst of you taking heed, that's showing your fear. You know, that's showing your faith. Then you're going to get increased, man. And judgment and equity and justice and, you know, things and so forth. It says, only acknowledge thy iniquity. And that's the key point, man. First step. Only acknowledge thy iniquity that thou hast transgressed against your how with thy God and has scattered thy ways to the strangers, which is the heathens, under every green tree. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith Yahweh. Who was the voice? It's the mouth. The prophets. It says, turn, O backside, and children, say, if you howl, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you into Zion. So, sorry about that. And it says, over so verse 15, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So, the Lord's going to give us the man that's going to lead the way, give us the understanding, so we can cleanse our way by taking heed to the word, man, and following the example that's been uh, set and put. You know, and now with that being said, like, you know, the word cleansing us and getting you back on track and, you know, spiritually rebooting us based off them few precepts. Now I'm going to read this because, like I mentioned, um, this can also, and there's other precepts, uh, proving um, baptism, man. Like, it ain't just being dipped in the water. Are you saved? You holy? No, man. It's this word what does it, what do, does the cleansing. Although that was a custom that our people had did back then. 
but that's not what's gonna that's not the key is the point it says um this is the first peter 3 and 21 the like figure wherein to even baptism doth also now save us and we just read what the true baptism is is you know by taking heed according to the word man it says not the putting away of the filth of the flesh but the answer of a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. And that is the name of the heavenly son, man, whom the world ignorantly and willingly called Jehovah and Jesus. Because a lot of people know the true name, but they're paid off or demons just possess them and they just speak in madness. Just as everyone in the majority of the world is. But I just wanted to look up this word baptism and I was going to end on that. It ain't loading up, so I guess it ain't meant to be. Oh, here you go. I'm going to look this word up real quick. Submersion. Immersion. Yeah, man. That being so submerged in this word, in his spirit. You know, and repenting like the scriptures we just read, man. That's true baptism. But yeah, man, Lord, well, the last was out of fine. I want to give all praise and glory unto to you. How about Shem El Shai? Double honest, how elders and apostles taught us his word. Shalom. Yeah, how about Shem El Shai is going to place us back in our land? He said he's going to bring us into Zion. And, and, and that's future prophecy, man, when it totally come to pass after this destruction and the deliverance. You know, but it's starting now. You know, the prophets waking back up, the Israelites coming back together, man, the 12 tribes. You know, the elect being sealed and the Lord giving us the pastors, the teachers, the leaders with the proper knowledge to feed us, as it says in verse 15. And I will.